guys, uh, today we will have two clips which we are going to work with and we are going to make this transition. It's a mask transition and in this video I will give you some tips and tricks uh, to learn some basic masking. Uh, the tips and tricks are mostly how to save a lot of time because masking can be a pain in the ass. So let's hop in Premiere Pro and let's start editing. Okay, so as you guys see, I got two clips already lined up on my timeline. The first clip of my mom and the second clip of the musician. I want to mask this person out so we reveal the next shot. So I will place this in the middle. I will grab the pen tool underneath opacity and I will draw a rough mask. Doesn't have to be perfect because we will better it out later on. So, um, now you will see that the left part will disappear. Um, to make it visible again, go to the effect controls and next to opacity you see the little FX. Uh, then you can toggle that one off and boom, we have the left screen back. Then, very important, make a keyframe for the mask pad. And what we do now is we go back a couple of frames, I think here we'll do the job for now and then adjust the mask accordingly and so like this will be fine then a couple of frames more like so there we have it what i will do now is i go forward frame by frame and see if the mask follows the shirt I need a bit more space on this side, like this. And yeah, that's pretty good. Um, now we have, now we did it uh, backwards. Uh, we have to do the exact same thing forwards. Uh, I will fast forward this for the sake of this tutorial because the steps are exactly the same. Okay, um, now I finished the mask because the person is completely out of the frame. Now I will go back frame by frame again to check if the mask follows the person how I want it. I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. Okay, um, and then the next thing what you want to do, uh, you go back to the effect controls and you toggle the effects on again. Now you can't see the left part and now we're going to feather it because now it looks pretty bad and with a bit of feather it's more smooth it's 35 and then I will do frame by frame again to see if there are any little mistakes I'm happy with this okay the next thing you want to do uh, is you want to place the second clip the clip you want to reveal underneath the clip you just masked and then you will have something like this so you have the clip already looks pretty good the second clip the clip of the musicians is going a bit faster so i want to slow that clip down um, there are two ways to do so uh, you can press r and stretch it out or you can go to show clip keyframes and put the time remapping and now we can see them again let's see this already looks pretty good but i think it will look even better if the movement of the camera the motion of the camera is in the same direction uh, you see here in the first clip the camera is moving to the left we can change that by putting command r reverse speed and now the clip is going in the other direction. So let's see how it will look. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, the mask transition. Uh, this one was fairly basic uh, and simple. Uh, but hopefully uh, my tips and tricks uh, did help you uh, to speed up your editing process. Because masking can be a lot of work. I will make uh, more tutorials about masking and then more in depth because you can do way more things with masking. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, tutorials uh, you want to see, 
uh, let me know in the comments um, and I'll see you in the next.